In this video, we're looking at multi-lane roundabouts and how to know which lane to be in and how to do it all safely. Let's get into it. On this example, we're going right third exit towards Salisbury A30. As you can see from this big sign on the right, it's definitely over to the right side and it's definitely the third exit. But as we get closer, we can see this white sign on the left. I'm going to pause the video so we can look at it better. You can see it's got three black arrows on it, telling us there's going to be three lanes coming up. The left lane is for Kings Furlong and Ring Road South only. The middle lane is for Ring Road South and Salisbury A30. And the right lane is for Salisbury A30 only. As we're not turning right immediately after the roundabout or overtaking anybody, it makes sense for us to use that middle lane because that will be the easiest lane to eventually come off in the left lane from. So it's centre mirror, right mirror, so we can come into this middle lane. We're not signalling right because we don't want people thinking we're going into the right hand lane. Our position is enough of a signal. Also, because the roundabout is traffic light controlled, the people coming onto the roundabout aren't relying on our signal as much. Whilst we're sat here, trying to work out when the lights are going to change, you can see the green light in the distance just going to orange. So we're getting ready to go, checking centre left and right for Bob and Tom and onto the roundabout. I'm going to pause the video again now, as you can see these dots are taking us onto the roundabout into the middle lane. You can see from the drone view as well, the green dots are flashing. We're going to follow those around until we get to the white dashes, which will take us round eventually into the left lane as we pass that second exit. I'll now play out the clip so that you can see the car following the lane markings as it should and then exiting the roundabout as it should. So as we go on to the roundabout, centre mirror, left mirror, then left signal to come off the roundabout. You can see we're now in the left lane. Remember it's a traffic light controlled roundabout, so keep an eye out for those traffic lights in case they change. And then coming off the roundabout in the left lane, as that's where we are anyway, and that's the best lane to come off if possible. Cancelling the signal, remembering new road, new mirrors. Don't worry if you find yourself in the right lane on the approach. It is perfectly acceptable to be using that lane and then coming off in the right lane instead of the left lane. As long as you do all that safely as well, that's not a problem. But that's the lane for overtaking or for forward planning the junction afterwards if it's really close. The last thing you want to be doing is suddenly trying to change into the lane you should be in if the lane you're in is okay to use. Just be careful when coming off in that right lane as you will need to get into that left lane as soon as safely possible after the roundabout unless you're overtaking somebody or you are turning right very, very soon. On this roundabout, we're gonna go right third exit. So centre mirror, right mirror, right signal, chin to shoulder check, and we're gonna change lanes into that right lane. You can see from this next sign that right third exit is towards the ring road south. So looking at this next sign, the right lane is the only lane for going towards ring road south. So centre mirror, right mirror, right signal into this right lane coming up to the traffic lights. Keep an eye in case they change. So I'm going to pause the video here. You can see from this sign that we can see just past the traffic lights in front of us that there are three lanes just around the corner. We're going to want the middle lane because we're not overtaking anybody and we're not turning right just after the roundabout. So although we could use the right lane around that corner, it would bring us off in the right lane as we came off. So instead we're gonna use the middle lane so that we can come off in the left lane, which will make the rest of the roundabout much easier. So you can also see the road markings on the floor. They match the sign as well. So keep an eye out for those when you're going around roundabouts because not all of them have these really useful signs. So you can see from this green line that's being drawn around the roundabout, we go on the roundabout into the right lane initially, as we come around this first bend into that middle lane, and then as we come around the next bend, we're eventually in the left lane, ready to come off in the left lane. So let's just follow the car round now. So onto the roundabout into the right lane as we talked about, but around this first bend, we're peeling out into the middle lane. So centre mirror, left mirror a couple of times to make sure it's safe. You can see we're now in the middle lane. You can see the road markings on the floor now are pushing us out into the left lane, so again, just making sure it's safe, making sure nobody's where they shouldn't be. Then centre mirror, left mirror, left signal to come off the roundabout. As we come off the roundabout, new road, new mirrors before we get up to speed. On this example, we're going ahead second exit towards King's Furlong. From this next sign that we can see in the far distance, we can see that the middle lane is going to be best for that. 
I'm going to pause the video briefly to show you about the road markings. You can see from the drone footage on the left and the graphic on the screen that the left lane is going to be left only. So we're going to need to move over to the right, which will become the middle lane in the distance. So centre mirror, right mirror, right signal. Chin to shoulder check as well to make sure it's safe to move into the right lane. Don't forget to cancel that signal once we've moved across. Now, as we come up towards the roundabout, we need to look at the signs and road markings to help us know what we're going to do next. As we approach the roundabout, we can see these pair of signs telling us after the first exit, the left lane is going to be the lane we want. I've paused it briefly just so I can show you what you're looking for. You can see the dots on the left lane are forcing the people in the left lane to go off down that first exit. We're in the middle lane, so if we stay between the dots, that will bring us round into the left lane after that first exit, ready to come off at the second exit. So, checking the other lights for the other people for when they go orange and then red, there they go. So centre mirror, left mirror, right mirror for Bob and Tom, so we're ready to go on our green light. Onto the roundabout into the middle lane initially, following the dots as you can see round into the left lane. So centre mirror, left mirror, left signal. The next lights are red, so centre mirror to slow down. Keeping an eye on the lights in case they change before we stop. As you can see, the lights and distance are just changing. So centre mirror, left mirror, right mirror. Again, checking for Bob and Tom. And then we're coming off the roundabout. So another quick check for centre and left. Make sure there's no bobs on the left. And then new road, new mirrors before we get up to speed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out these videos and the rest of the videos on our channel. There are loads on there from manoeuvres to roundabouts to anticipation. So subscribe to our channel. Get our latest videos as soon as they're released. See you soon. Thanks. Bye.